Wait, what's going on, guys? It's Chef. And I know, I know, I'm sorry I didn't upload Mortal Kombat today. People have been loving all the Mortal Kombat. It's been a lot of fun, but I've also, uh, been humbled quite a bit since that video. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's tough. The original Warzone servers are actually shutting down tomorrow. Today is the final 24 hours, the final full day that you can actually play Warzone 1, the original. Now, a lot of people consider, uh, Warzone, the original Warzone versus Warzone Caldera very different because obviously they're not playing Verdansk and all that shit. But it is still Warzone 1, Warzone 1 mechanics, Warzone 1 pacing, the original. It's still there regardless of, you know, what the map is like. So I'm gonna search for some solos. I don't even think I want to play the game. I'm just going to spectate it and just kind of talk about this game because I don't think I ever really truly reflected on it. I've reflected on Warzone 1 quite a bit during Warzone 2, like right when that was coming out. But ultimately you guys know that past spectating and some solos, I don't care about Warzone very much. It had its time during the whole pandemic, but its issues probably will stand out. So <laughs> they're not good memories. I even still have all of my complaints just sitting here as all of my class names. Now, some of these have actually been fixed, but I didn't even bother to change the class or update that because they didn't either. Bad visibility, still true to this day. Closed stadium, they fixed that, but it's crazy they released a map where they had an entire block of the map that you just couldn't use or access. It was really weird. Perma ghost, super annoying. Skyscrapers, super annoying. It's fine to have some skyscrapers, but virtually every single POI had some sort of incredibly tall building in the area for no reason. Not to mention the whole watchtower thing over on airfield, control center, uh, light speed vehicles. It's also before they ended up nerfing the uh, reverse speed of all the vehicles in the game because people used to genuinely just hop in vehicles, drive around, and just run people. They won't even get into gunfights. DMR zone, I mean, a lot of people, that was pretty much the absolute peak of Warzone, I think, in terms of, like, player count, and the beginning of the end kind of situation, because we never got back to that point in terms of player count. Viewership on streams and videos and uh, activity in the community and all that shit, it was at its peak right here. There was no anti-cheat at the time. Absolutely terrible. There were some map exploits where people would just be straight up under the ground, and as a part of bad visibility, the game needed filters. Also, as a trained soldier, your character could not mantle properly over these untraversable rocks, where a ton of the map is just covered in these rocks that you can't do anything about. They're basically a flat wall. And people don't talk about it enough. It's definitely one of the biggest issues with Verdansk. I know a lot of people love the map, but the map definitely has some issues, and people were complaining about those things before Caldera came. Oh man, slide canceling feels nice and responsive, tight. There are some quality of life things that they did in this game that I feel like it's baffling to me that a lot of them just aren't in Warzone 2. I think even to this day, but it's crazy. As I'm playing this, I'm already bored. Even if this was still Verdansk, I'm bored. It's just not my preferred way to play the game. It's just not. That's on me, though. It's not like everything I'm saying is just fact, just my opinion, but dude, I'm literally looking at Mortal Kombat frame data over here doing math. I have a calculator that tells me if something is safe or not. I'm gonna have a bad experience if I play, so I'm just gonna spectate one last time. I have no interest in playing. I'll go and play shit, man. Maybe I can win in the gulag. Itra burst. This is what they're gonna have me use? Oh, he got me. Good for you, man. Hope you're good at Modern Warfare 3. See you there. Still 108 players in here. See, I tried to queue up for a game last night at like well, it was 4 a.m., but still. I was queuing up for a game. And, oh. Hits him. Although it really did not look... I don't think he realized how close he was to the ground. That guy killed me, so... Shows how ass I am, I guess. Wait, a genuine level 34 player. And he's just AFK? Wait, how did he get here? He must have had, like, auto-deploy on, and then why would he be released here, though? A genuine level 34 account, though? I don't know about that. Oh, he got kicked for inactivity. Now we got Grim Reefer, level 1001. Oh, I did turn my graphics up a little bit. I don't have, like, the maxed out shit where you get, like, maximum frames. I could easily get over, like, 300 plus if I did, but I ended up turning up the textures a bit, the anti-aliasing, all that shit, so. Because the game visually outside of that, to look at it one last time, people's games ended up looking absolutely fried with the amount of filters and saturation they had. Do not understand how they were able to deal with it. Trying to hit some shots. Oh, good shot. One shot snipers, by the way. See, if this is Warzone 2, we would have just not even been concerned about that guy's living situation because he would have needed to land two shots regardless if he shot him in the head or not, which is disgusting. That literally shouldn't be a thing. One shot headshot should always be... Go ahead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, Patricio coming out. Oh man, no one's hitting any shots at all. Wow. Is no one plating in this game? No way he got rid of two plates and two bullets. At this range, I doubt. No one's even slide canceling and shit. I mean, the dude that killed me was slide canceling, but he didn't even know how to pull his shoot, so I, I don't even understand what I'm watching anymore. I'm telling you, you get into some Martian lot. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait, this guy's getting a gameplay. Why shield? Oh! Broke his armor? Oh, he died! 
I hear someone. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's somebody else here. I was gonna say, no way that that dude ran all the way back around, did he? Alright, this guy's got four kills and he's actually moving around and slide canceling and shit, so actual gameplay. What the fuck is this slide speed? Was it always this fast or is there some different tech? Why is his slide so fast? This game feels like there's just so much more activity going on. Like, even when you try to spectate in Warzone 2, I, I have it in a while, so maybe it's a little different now, but it just seems like there's always something happening on this game. I miss the whole gameplay loop of picking up some kind of weapon, getting like, you know, one to five kills, hopping in a vehicle, driving over to a buy station, and then just spamming UAVs and just driving from dot to dot to dot. I miss that gameplay loop. That was the best gameplay loop that they had. Now it's so much slower. That was the other part of the gameplay loop, just pick up bounties if you don't have UAVs and shit, or just do them both at the same time. Pops dead silence. Somebody set up a shield in the left. He's probably gonna run right in. Oh, they're above. He's climbing up. Still not making any noise. Didn't make any noise climbing up. A guy drops down. That's the shield dude. Below. Oh, he, I mean, just keep on jumping. I just hope he starts missing. There's another person here, though. Oh. What, what is this guy doing? I guess he didn't have any plates at all when he got broke the first time and then heard those two fight. He has a bounty on Hasbulla. Use a balloon or a vehicle and just go dot to dot. Which one are we going to do? You got to clean up these two guys back here. What the fuck? Wait, he's above you. What the fuck? Okay, now I wonder, is this guy gonna aim bottom out of the sky? Then he drops off of the building instead. I don't like this though, because now you're in a way worse position. You'd have to rotate way out. Wait, this guy's not even here. Now he's in a worse position though, with this guy over here that started lighting him up a little bit. Okay, so he's avoiding him though. Somebody's flying over there. I think maybe this guy might have used the balloon by now. And that was him. There's a vehicle coming this way. He's gonna shoot at him. Now the question is, is the guy still on this building or was that him? That was probably him if he didn't hear any movement at all after all that shooting. The guy's probably grabbing a UAV or some plates maybe. He hasn't been able to do his bounty because it's just way too far over. Holy shit! It's a riot shielder. Yeah, he's like, yeah, fuck that shit, I'm out. Uh, Alright, I mean, he hit the first couple shots. See, it's not just a riot shielder either. He's swapping, so he's just trying to cheese. I don't like this though. How are you gonna get out of here? Did they both die? No, nah, he's gonna get shot going on this thing. Yep. What are you doing? Why does everybody have a riot shield? Also, I did see that zombies trailer or whatever. I would have done a reaction video if I didn't already have my other video up, but. Okay. Detailed files. Oh, he got flashed, uh, stunned, and he's down. Guy's gonna push him. If there's nobody else here, he's definitely dead. Yeah, he's dead. I rat. What is up with the amount of riot shields? Are we playing shipment? He only has three kills after all this time. He's definitely rat. Oh my goodness, look at all the recons he did. Wait, this guy's crazy. What the fuck? We've seen like every single type of player in this one singular game. It's perfect for the final Warzone game ever. We've seen slide canceling movement, sweaty type of players. We've seen the most average of average players. We've seen the rats, and the rats are being successful. Vanguard multiplayer. I'm not even gonna lie, man. I had a ton of fun over on like Dawson house and shit i cannot wait to play some more sledgehammer multiplayer I'm actually super excited for mw3 it's a little while away still we got cod next in a couple weeks then the beta so we'll be able to get a taste of it at least i wonder what maps they're gonna give us i assume it'll either be like terminal estate favela or high rise i'll be surprised if it's any other map terminal feels like it would be the one i feel like it would be a massive misplay to go and do karachi like just marketing wise like people are gonna think that the flow is just terrible if we're playing karachi i'm telling you karachi and rundown if the, uh, dude Please, that is the most diabolical thought process. Please do not make us play like Estate Rundown in Karachi for the beta, please. Oh, someone's flying it in. Uh, well, that didn't last very long. Five kills, top five situation, three spectators. He knows where the final circle is. Wow, he knows where the next multiple final circles are. Will the rat be able to overcome the sweat? It's the final face-off. We got it, got the advanced UAV, sees the last three of them. He has the circles, he's got the knowledge, he's sneaking up behind this guy. One dude ended up going down. He's about to shoot him in the back as he's cleaning him up. He's calling an airstrike on top of him. Shoots him in the back. Airstrike is coming. It's gonna hit him. Got him. Beautiful. Anonymous goes down. Now the last guy is actually looking right at him though. He's staring right at him. Okay, but we got the riot shield now, so we don't have to worry about getting sniped. That's the one scary thing about Warzone 1 is the fact that you could just get one shot headshot. I've got the riot shield. All right, this guy is just taking these shots, just standing out in the open. And he's just crouching. This is the worst idea ever. Just, he's gonna stun you. You're dead. You're dead. What are you doing? He missed! That was a classic Warzone 1. I, I don't even... Warzone 1, what a time in gaming. After today has come to a screeching halt. Hopefully Modern Warfare 3 will eject some, you know, original Warzone feels into Warzone 2. They've been, you know, pushing themselves a little bit closer and closer to it, but they're still not there. But ultimately, I only care about multiplayer anyway, so I'm gonna uninstall this game now.